The world is changing. You may like it. You may not like it. My generation, the baby boom uh, generation, born from 1946 until 1963, has a lot of historical knowledge and hands-on experience, but we're increasingly reluctant to embrace a world run by technology. Whereas I can call a plumber to fix a leak or a broken toilet, my 30-something-year-old sons will watch a YouTube video to figure out how to do it themselves. Hi, my name is David Lance, and I've been teaching online since 2005, mostly at the college level, and creating courses to sell in the online education marketplace. In 2005, less than 17% of humanity was on the Internet. In 2019... 54% of mankind, a little over 4.5 billion people, were online. The rapid growth in global internet usage has triggered the development of online video platforms like Zoom over the last five years. During the stay-at-home response to the COVID pandemic of 2020, demand for these and similar products has skyrocketed. Now, the change we are experiencing today has happened again and again throughout human history forcing human society to adjust to new innovative methods. You see, in ancient times, a power shift resulted with the discovery of how to make iron. Those nations that possessed the secret to, to this new technology subjugated those which still relied on Bronze Age technology. To survive, technologically backward nations fought to obtain the iron of the culture. The iron of our culture is online learning technology. Large bureaucratic institutions control access to this technology, while groups of education entrepreneurs are rising, seeking to master the iron of the culture. Because these technologies are here to stay, to teach the virtuous traditions via online instruction, we must combine our subject matter expertise with a creative mind to communicate information through storytelling using technology of our 21st century culture. You see, there are three forces shaping technological innovation in the 21st century. First, competition drives companies toward leaner and more efficient operations. Second, globalization is creating a wider and deeper talent pool. And third, to be com competitive, individuals are willing to access online courses to learn skills that will make them more marketable. Now, a recent study reported that over 100 million people planet-wide took an online course in 2019. Did you? Now, these trends began to take off starting in the year 2010, but now, with the COVID pandemic, they have been accelerated, especially as people must interact over the internet, be it for school, work, or extended family conversations. My wife, Sally, is a great example of this. She teaches music lessons. She went from teaching her students in person to doing so online. She also tutors people to learn math and language skills. But instead of doing that face-to-face -face like she used to, she had to learn how to do so via Zoom. And we've learned how to use Zoom to celebrate the birthdays of our grandchildren who live in another country. Are you like my wife, someone who has never taught anything over the internet with technology? Well, that's why I've created my course, How to Teach with Technology Online. Are you afraid of learning how to use technologies like PowerPoint, Zoom, YouTube, and others to communicate in an increasingly complex world? Well, let me tell you, you are not alone. I want to stress that these tools will never replace face-to-face -face interaction. But when you have taken my course, you'll learn that people like you are overcoming their fear of mastering the technologies that are forging the iron of our culture. Diane Stover is someone who's the head of the Ohio Valley Voters uh, Organization, and she wrote this after taking my course. Quote, this course has really given me the basis for what I need to begin creating videos and memes. I am so pleased at the ease of use of the online lessons and knowledge I am gaining. I definitely recommend this course. You know, like I said, the world is changing. We can't put the genie back in the bottle. But you know, similar transformations have happened throughout history. We went from the silent movies to the talkies and then added color in The Wizard of Oz. The question you have to ask yourself is, 
how will I adjust to take advantage of these changing times so that I can use the iron of our culture? Why not go ahead and get started with my course, How to Teach with Technology Online, and preview the introduction. The landing page link is on the screen. And don't forget to use the code word wise jargon. You'll save 25% when you sign up for the course. Well, thanks so much and enjoy the course.